First, kind of talk about the nature of this win coming in here, beating a Pac-12 team, you know, in the rain, and uh, just just the nature of this win for you guys. Yeah, it's a huge win. Obviously, it's in history for Portland State. You know, uh, I I wasn't here the last couple of years, but you know, we've been in a couple of close games with some Pac-12 schools, and um, the nature of this year is just we were going to go out and finish it. And from start to finish, we just made a few more plays than they did and got it pulled it out. Everything you expected and more at your first start at this level? Yes, for sure. Everything I expected and more. I wasn't as nervous as I thought I was going to be, but we were we were ready to come out and take care of business. First half, you know, we were started off a little bit slow, and second half, everyone settled down, and uh, we were able to come out and obviously get a W. Did you think he'd be passing more in this game? Well, with the rain, you, you never know. Yeah, so the rain kind of changes people's game plans a little bit. You kind of have to adjust. Um, that was exactly what our game plan was. You know, we... we we executed it perfectly. And uh, you shout out Nate Tarver. Yeah, that's it. that's pretty much what I expected. We our old line was able to get a huge push up front. We were able to move the ball, create basically at will. So Paris was able to make plays on his feet. All of our backfield make play on their feet and move the football. How much of your running was more of that blitzing and you just realizing you're actually got to get out? Quite a bit, quite a bit. You know, uh, I didn't have very many design runs tonight. I was just kind of, Paris is more of the design run guy, um, but. Uh, I was able to get out of the pocket, make a few plays with my feet, and uh, they weren't covering it down. So, did you think you'd be able to run as much as you did, knowing the hits that you were taking out there and uh, a, pr a pretty big front seven on the other side of the yeah, ball? Yeah, for sure. I mean, this isn't this isn't my first time playing against a big front seven. Um, at, at junior college, we played against several talented people, and uh, I'm going to play my game regardless of who we're playing in. That's a big aspect of it, is being able to utilize my feet and make plays outside of the pocket. Yeah, pretty much. You know, they have a new defensive coordinator, so we didn't know exactly what to expect. Um, there was a possibility of a lot of different things, but uh, we were prepared for basically every scenario, including blitz. Do you really like those packages when you and Paris can both be in there and do some different things offensively than, than what you normally do? Yeah, number seven and number two are going to be an issue for people this year in the back row, So, well, What does this mean to get the, this one for your head coach, first game and coming in here and, and getting a win here? It's huge. Obviously, I wasn't here last year, and I, I don't know much about the environment then, but um, you know, I've played on several football teams and uh, who have won a lot of games, and this team's no different. There's a winning environment here. He brought it here, and uh, we're all ready to go to war for that, man. So, what, what would you describe as Barney Ball? I know that's something you guys Barney talked about. Barney Ball obviously blue collar, fundamental, tough football. You know, we're going to come in, and it doesn't matter who we're playing, we're coming to win. Because if you're not going to come to win, you know, what are you doing there? So, uh, Coach Barnum has done a good job instilling that mentality with all of our guys, and uh, we're going to carry it on throughout the rest of the season. How long do you have to celebrate this one before you start thinking about it? Uh, the bus ride. The bus ride home. Maybe tonight. So I'm going home tonight to spend with my wife and baby. And so, uh, yeah, we probably got a night.